We expect and demand great character from our players. That's the heart and soul of our program, um, not just in terms of uh, kids who are going to represent their families and communities well, which is critical, but also in terms of you know, having that grit factor and developing that, uh, that great work ethic, that self-motivation, and um, especially resiliency skills. I mean, those things are critical to reaching our full potential. And, and to that part of it, um, we always expect and demand that we reach our full potential, whatever that is, whether that potential is to win every single game in an Ivy League championship, or whether it is to just have a winning season. That's our expectation. Beyond that, um, we do expect uh, to be an improved football team. Um, I say that because I think we're gonna be much better up front in the offensive line and the defensive line, and in our program, you know, we have a, sort of a saying that it's what's up front that counts. It's a, it's a line of scrimmage game. And with four starters coming back on the offensive line, um, with two really potentially outstanding um, sort of national type kids in left tackle, Timmy O'Brien, a 6'7", 290 pound offensive lineman from Southern California. And uh, right guard, Larry Allen, um, who's a preseason All-American, uh, we think is an NFL prospect. Uh, we think that bodes well for our entire offense. I think the second part of that offensive equation is uh, we really feel like we have a good group of backs, starting with our senior, Charlie Booker, out of Dallas, Texas. And you throw in a quarterback situation where we've got some experience now. Last year, obviously, we had some growing pains with a uh, freshman quarterback at times. And I think whether it's uh, Jake or whether it's Tommy, I think both kids are going to do a good job and will be improved. You throw in some explosive skilled athletes like Justice Shelton Mosley and obviously our expectations are such that those guys can make some big plays. Defensively, same thing. Uh, Richie Ryan and Stonehart at defensive tackle. You know, those guys are four-year players and they're kids that uh, we think can be at the top of our league. Uh, you throw in Jordan Hill, at linebacker. Uh, you, you look at our captain, uh, Zach, at uh, safety and you know, we really feel like if we can stay healthy, we'll be a much better football team. I think any time you deviate from the norm, from tradition, uh, in a big rivalry, um, it's going to be imperfect. Um, but I know that our players are really excited to play at Fenway. I think our fans must be excited in terms of how quickly the game sold out. I know Fenway's really excited and think this has the potential to be the, the biggest crowd for a college football game in, uh, in their history, including the Notre Dame Boston College game. So there's a lot of positives. Um, at the end of the day, it, it's imperfect. Um, I do feel for the folks who um, we may miss out a little bit on the um, aspect of, and tradition of tailgating and those things. But I think they'll find a way to do that in Boston, in some of the restaurants and so forth. So all in all, it, it's all good from here. Um, we've got a long way to go to get there. but. Uh, it should be uh, our expectations. It's going to be a very exciting, nationally televised, great Harvard Yale game.